already. So a step of this sort of size in a rock garden, we can actually still get away with letting the bike rotate and not leave the wheels leaving the ground so much. Maybe a small push of the front wheel off so it doesn't pile straight down and accelerate my body mass forward. But there's no need really to, to try and drive the bike off it and land two wheeled. So even a step this sort of size, if you're relatively new to biking or a little bit less confident or your running isn't very long and your run out isn't very long, where you can't afford to let that bike accelerate too fast, we can just roll the bike through this section. Again, really important at this point to get deep into the pocket. Remember, your arms are going to get drop with the bars. They ain't going to stretch. So you've got one of two options. You get pulled forward and pushed out the front, or we bend at the knee, curtsy to the trail, show it some respect by bending those knees and letting the body mass stay in the pocket as the bike inverts and rolls through the section. When the front wheel lands, we don't want to be on top of it. We want that heel and wrist to drive energy through the bike and accelerate the front wheel away and be pushed away from us rather than us start to rotate over the top, drive energy down and through in that good old under rotation, which causes, uh, keeps us out of trouble a hell of a lot of the time and is really good for accelerating the bike and staying smooth. So we've just had an example from Rich of a feature that's nice and small so we can get that roll without being pushed. Whereas on this section of trail here, we can see where Rich is sat up there, a much larger feature where definitely not rollable so we're gonna to have to give that bike a nice push through. So coming into these larger features our eyes are really gonna get sucked down into the feature and those low points on the trail so it's really important to try and keep those eyes bouncing down the trail possibly looking for something in the distance as well. Another, another thing that can happen on these larger features it can cause us to hold our breath stiffen up and tense up so trying to stay as relaxed as possible pushing in and through nicely keeping those eyes up as much as possible. And many of you may have hit a step similar sort of size, maybe with a nice smooth run in and smooth run out. But don't forget, we're, we're coming down this rock garden, there's a lot of pushes going on that I've got to manage. The bike is trying to push me, push me, push me. And if I get pushed as I come over these roots and rocks here, and I'm forward on the bike as I approach this uh, section here and, and the push off the rock, I've got a lot of work to do to drive that wheel off and up, out and through so that I can land two wheeled. So really important to manage that push here. If I start to get pushed, 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 I'm just pushing a problem down the trail, which is probably going to come out and surface when I get to here. And I'm going to have a feel of perhaps a need to pull up rather than push through. And remembering pulling up slows the bike down and accelerates ourselves, particularly if it's matched with a glance down. And that can't be a good combination. So managing the pushes as we come through here, that upper body form really important, heel and wrist, everything we've looked at, breathing, thinking through the section. And as Griff comes off here, we'll see him not get pushed, but get ready to accelerate the bike, drive through, drop into the pocket on landing, and soak up that landing and on and down the trail, silky smooth, as only Griff can do. You can see through applying the same old system, thinking about your riding in terms of the physical elements, the footwork, the looking, the body position, the entry section, exit to each segment of trail, the speed control and the energy management, we can really start to master things. If we look after the psychological tier, we keep thinking about breathing, looking through, not death gripping, not avoid, avoiding all of those flight and fight responses and thinking positively about what we should be doing. Even the gnarliest of rock gardens, whether we choose early to pick a line around or we take a more, a more direct route down, we can stay nice and stable on the bike. So here at Bike Park Wales, we're known for our flowy, smooth, fast trails, but we also offer our real rough sort of reds and blacks. So mastering those skills and techniques for those rough terrains is real helpful and beneficial for your riding. So if the, if the rocky sections have been your nemesis and they've spoiled your flow, there's no need for that to be the case. Seek out some training, come and see a bike accredited instructor like Griff here up at Bike Park Wales, where there's plenty of terrain to choose from. Or check out our website for more details of where you can learn to flow like masters like Griff.